channel so today I'm doing a makeup tutorial with the Manny MUA palette <gasps> Ta -da! I have been waiting to use this I am so happy that I got it by all means this has to be probably my favorite product of the year so far it's such an awesome and amazing and versatile eyeshadow palette and here is the look that I created with it today it's absolutely amazing to the point where I think I'm going to have to do a review on it because it would just kind of be wrong not to, right? Which I will link below because more than likely that will go up before this one does. And I just wanted to use a whole new bunch of new products that I got recently. These are the new uh, Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip Lipsticks, which are like the matte lipsticks but not like the matte lipsticks because they're satin, they're more sticky but they're still long wearing, la la la. Anyway... So this is the look that I've come up with today, very warm toned, because the eyes are so strong, I was going to go with the strong lip and then I was like, mm, maybe I'll go with a medium strong lip. So this is it. If you're wondering, Tisha is Marilyn, Marilyn, we love Marilyn. So yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoy this video, like, comment, subscribe, let me know your thoughts, any other makeup tutorials that you may like to see, let me know below, I will add it to my ever ending list. I do have a list, as I've mentioned before, which I like to slowly work my way through uh, when I can. Um, anyway, so I hope that you guys all enjoy this video and I'll see you all soon. Bye. Hello, everybody. So to prime the eyes, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Primer Potion, an oldie but a goodie that I've whipped out again. And then to prime the face, I'm using the Post Shave Balm by Nivea, which is a men's shaving product but it's amazing to use as a primer I've done a review on this which I'm going I'm sure you guys have seen and then for foundation I'm using my Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation and I do have a review of this going up soon so you don't have to ask it's already filmed done and ready and waiting to edit and then I am blending it all in with my Real Techniques stippling brush Then to conceal and highlight, I'm using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. And I'm so not used to applying concealer under the eyes with my finger because I'm so used to my Urban Decay naked skin that it feels so weird just doing this. But anyway, moving on. And then I'm highlighting the high points of my face with my MAC Prep and Prime, which is like a religious thing for me. I can't live without this stuff. I'm really excited for the new ones that are coming out soon. And then blend everything out that you just applied with your Beauty Blender making sure to blend it seamlessly into the foundation which I kind of did off camera sometimes I do things off camera just to make the video a little bit shorter ah oh, my beloved shade and light contour palette by Kat Von D look how much love this has been given and you know what since this video the highlighting shades have almost finished but anyways so I'm going to set it all with my uh, contour brush by Real Techniques so that everything is nice and set and feeling smooth Then I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Studio Fix Powder Foundation by MAC And I'm using a large powder brush by Sigma Just to make sure that everything is non-sticky-ish It's a dewy foundation so you need to set it quite well And now are my Manny MUA palette from Makeup Geek Woohoo! I'm so excited to use this so the first shade is Beaches and Cream, which I will be applying all over the entire eye with my Sigma Tapered E40 Blender Brush. This is just to set my primer and to neutralize my eye. Then I am using the shade Frappe and a 224 brush to blend backwards and forwards through the crease area and blending it to the intensity that you want it to be. Make sure this is nice and smooth and evenly blended out. Next, I'm using this amazing red shade called Mars, and I am applying it very softly, building up the color with a Royal and Langnickel smudger brush to the inner half, or not inner half, even in, inner third of my eye. So I go backwards and forwards, blending this into that area, but slowly building up the color to the intensity that you want. Don't go in full whack with this because it is a very powerful shade that you need to build up. And then on the outer third of the eye, create an almost V shape with, uh, by using this brush. And don't worry, we will kind of blend it out a little bit later. And then what you need to do is blend between the two shades just at the top creating an almost a bridge so that you have kind of created almost a border encasing your eyeball 
if that makes sense kind of makes sense well don't know yeah so now you should look kind of like this sexy and then go back in with that 224 brush and a little bit more of frappe to blend out the harsh lines which are above the mars shade now i'm using the shade artemis and i'm applying it to the brow bone with a mac 227 fluff brush and then again go back in with the frappe to blend between those lines so that there are no harsh lines now i'm using the shade what is it called insomnia it's an awesome foiled shadow and i'm applying it to the center of the lid with a zoeva 234 smoky shader brush just packing it on and you don't really need to blend this too much because it's quite a thick and creamy and very shimmery shade and then again go back in with a bit of mars just to tidy up around the edges blending those two colors together so that there are no harsh lines available between those two colors then i'm using the groomer brush by makeup addiction cosmetics and i am tidying up my eyebrows oh my god i've been talking for so long i haven't taken a breath and whoo now i am doing my brows as always with the anastasia beverly hills dip brow in the shade chocolate as you can probably see i have accidentally gone over the line at the front of my brows this is normal these things happen you know you can't always do everything perfectly but then i tend to not use concealer to tidy up my brows because i just find it an unnecessary extra step plus my eyebrows need threading anyway so i'm just going to use a cotton bud and just tidy it all up and then i am using the same groomer brush just to blend out the eyebrows so that there are no thick patches making sure to disperse the color nicely and neatly and then i'm going to set it all with some tinted brow gel also in the shade chocolate by anastasia beverly hills just to make sure that they all stay in place now I'm doing my eyeliner with my L'Oreal Superliner Perfect Slim. As always, again, I have promised to do an eyeliner video, which I will do at some point once I've got through all the other requests from you guys, which I don't mind doing, but obviously it takes time to get through to doing this. But this is generally how I tend to do my eyes all the time. Now I am using the shade Aphrodite. I'm forgetting, I'm having to check on the side. I'm using a 212 brush by MAC to stamp it on the lower lash line. Just stamp it and then I'm using a Royal and Langnickel smudger brush and the shade Mars to blend out that brown shade so that there is a nice gradient between the red and the brown. Make sure you blend it quite well so that there are no harsh lines down there. And then line your eyes with your coal pencil of choice. Mine is a Rimmel one. Then I'm using a pencil brush by MAC and I'm using the same brow bone shade Artemis and applying it to the tear duct area to open up your lovely eyes. Then I'm applying my mascara as always and then I've got the Huda Beauty lashes in Monique and using the dark duo glue. Here we go. And then obviously do your lower lash line as well, don't forget to do that. I'm using the Infallible Sculpt Contouring Palette in Medium Dark by L'Oreal and I'm applying it to my cheekbone area with the Sigma 3D HD Precision Brush. If this is the darkest shade, I don't know this one came out probably just about the right color for me this gives a very natural kind of contour i mean it is a cream to powder contour and this was the first time i was using it i was pleasantly surprised but don't be expecting to go on with a full-on contour with something like this because the color wasn't necessarily dark enough to my liking i went over it afterwards with some powder but anyway so this was amazing to use to contour the nose this brush in particular is really good to use for cream powdery creamy more contours and then i also applied it to my forehead area and then completely forgot to um I accidentally cut out the bit where i blend it but you know you kind of get the idea she applies it to her forehead then she blends it out and that is it now to set that contour i'm using bad habit and a f40 contour brush by or angled brush even by sigma and the contour is by makeup geek in case you haven't realized that by now and then i am tidying it all up with the kat von d shade and light palette again using that same real techniques contour brush then i am using a blush from the mac flamingo collection and it is called i've forgotten so that's why i'm stalling it's called what i fancy that's it and i'm using a blush brush by mac to apply it then i am using the morphe m310 fan brush and i'm applying my highlighter which is anastasia beverly hills so hollywood illuminator to the cheekbones to the nose and then to the cupid's bow i find that only really 
golds and maybe ivory shades work well on the cupid bow any other color looks a little bit strange because yeah it just looks weird so it's best just to use golds and then i'm using a frick and frack lippy pencil by colourpop cosmetics which is lovely and creamy and gorgeous and i am really happy that colourpop came out with cor some corresponding lip pencils to go with their new ultra satin lipsticks and then i'm using frick and frack again by colourpop which is like i just said the ultra satin lip and i am applying that and blending that in to the lip liner that's the good thing about these lip liners they actually blend into the lipstick creating a perfectly flawless lipstick finish which is obviously what we want and this is the completed look i hope that you guys all enjoy like comment subscribe as always i love you all thank you so much for your support thank you for watching and i'll see you all in the next video bye